second tool for looking for an icon. Uh, this one you need to sign in to use, but there is a lot of really good icons in this one as well. So with noun project, you again can search for anything. So let's say we wanted to find, uh, I don't know, let's say a plant this time. So we're looking for plant. We go through our results again. There's either icons or collections. If you click on collections, you get a whole group of things related to plants that people have made. Within them, there are icons. So just go back to the individual ones. Um, let's see. I like to look at this one here. I'm going to click on that. Okay, so if I want to use this one, I have to attribute the author. Now, the difference between Noun Project and Flat Icon is you have to be signed in. If you don't pay for Noun Project, you just have to attribute the author. So I want to say, get this one. I'm going to make sure I'm signed in. So I just sign in with my EWC account. Um, sorry, log in, not sign up. So I'm going to log in with my account. And now you can see here there's Pro Download or Basic Download. So this one would mean I don't have to attribute. This one I do. So I'm just going to click on it. Uh, you can play around with these a little bit if you want to change the angles. It's got a little bit of editing uh, sort of functionality within it. I think you can change the colors as well. Yep. So if you want a different color for this one, let's go with like a dark blue this time. Um, you can even put shapes around it as well. Um, so obviously a circle is going to be the only one that really fits there, but if you don't want any shapes, you can just say none. Um, oh, okay, sorry, I lie. If you want to do edits, you do have to have the pro, <laughs> sorry. So let's go back to lose my edits. So keeping the basic one just for the free account, uh, and then I go continue. Um, this is my attribution, so I just want to command C and copy that, because that's how I'm going to show um, the author's attribution and I'm going to save it as a PNG file again onto my desktop. Now you can see it's saved down there so I go back to my keynote again where I was working earlier and if I want to put this into my presentation now in my downloads Okay, that's the one. So, now I'm planting. Yep, that's the one. So, I dragged that onto my presentation. Um, actually, you can see that it's already attributed at the bottom of the uh, icon there. So, remember when you're dragging around these vector images, you've got to click on the color, otherwise, it doesn't let you drag it. So, click on the solid part, and there you go. That's your vector image for Noun Project.